as your website grows and becomes more complex, we might want to take advantage of some of the advanced features available in Akiba Backup for WordPress to exclude some data from the backup itself. To begin with, let's look at the database tables exclusion. Here we can see listed all the tables that exist in the database. Now not all of these might be related to our WordPress websites. For example, I have the database tables for a PHP B site. Akiba Backup for WordPress is very clever. If I click on this Exclude Non-Core Tables, it will go through the entire list of database tables and exclude all the ones that are not part of this WordPress installation to be excluded from the backup. As you can see, all of the PHP BB tables have now been flagged to be excluded from the backup. I can also mark some tables in a slightly different way by clicking here. If I want to include the table, but not include the contents of that table. For example, I do need the comments table, but I don't need to back up the comments themselves. If you want to see a list of all the tables that are going to be excluded, you can click. Here we can see the tables that are going to be excluded from the backup, and those tables that will be included, but without their contents. If you want to change one of the settings, you can click on the delete button to remove it from the exclusion. Now that we've excluded the database tables that are not related to this WordPress website, let's have a look at some of the files. If we go back to our dashboard, we can see we have a files and directory exclusion as well. Over here, we can see I have one particularly large file, which is an MP3, that I also don't need to back up. I'm going to click on this icon to exclude that individual file. Now, in this site, inside my Uploads folder, I have a large number of images in multiple sizes. They're pretty large, and I may not want to include those in my backup, as I've got a copy of them elsewhere. If I click on this icon here, I can exclude all the uploads. I could just skip the subdirectories by clicking here instead, and keep the main one, but I'm going to exclude the entire directory. Again, we can see a list of all the files that we've set to be excluded by clicking on the List All Exclusions button. You can see I've set it to exclude the Uploads folder and the large MP3. I can now return to the control panel and perform a new backup. Any backup will now exclude those database tables that are not related to this WordPress website and those large uploads directories and files which I decided I didn't want to include.